Welcome to Claire's Kitchen, Dubai edition, even though it's empty. It's still my kitchen. And today I'm going to show you how to make Super Shroom waffles. The Super Shroom in question today is chaga, one of my faves. And it's a really simple recipe. You can see there's not many ingredients, two bowls, waffle iron. You can also turn these into pancakes if you want to. So there's that. Now, first thing we're gonna start off with is a flax egg. A lot of times I get asked like, what is a flax egg? I'm gonna show you. So I've got some water. I've got some freshly ground, freshly guys, please do this. Do not buy that shitty pre-ground flax in the packet that you see at the supermarket. It's shit, it's dead, it's oxidized, it's probably gone a little bit rancid because of the fat content in a flaxseed. Don't do it. Just use a blender, a spice grinder, a bullet, a coffee grinder, whatever. Pop some flax seeds in there, grind it up until you have powder. Okay, so a little bowl is what we need. And essentially the ratio is one tablespoon of freshly ground flax seeds mixed with three tablespoons of water. That equals one flax egg. So if you're using a recipe that calls for three regular eggs and you wanna convert it into a plant-based recipe, then you're gonna do three tablespoons of freshly ground flax seeds mixed with nine tablespoons of water which is what we need to do now because this recipe requires three flax eggs. So let's go one. And you can see it's like, it's actual powder. You don't want to have any whole flax seeds there. You want, you want powder. Three tablespoons. So we're going to do nine tablespoons of water. So I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. You can see I'm using actual measuring tools here, guys. When you're doing anything in the line of like baking or cakes, this sort of thing, you want to be exact and precise with your measurements because baking is a science. So bear that in mind. Now, what I'm going to do is just going to like whiskey whisk with a fork, nothing special. And essentially, this is going to become very gelatinous. It's going to become like a a viscous sort of slurry, very much the same viscosity as whisked eggs. So you're just gonna pop that aside and forget about it. Grab your other bowl. Now I've got all my flowers here. Did I mention that these are grain-free waffles? I didn't, so like, editor, add this in, they're grain-free waffles to the beginning. Okay, cool. Um, so we have almond flour, coconut flour, cassava flour. So cassava, a lot of people are like, what is cassava? It's a root and it's really great for grain-free baking. So I'm just going to throw all of these flours into a nice big bowl. Try not to mess, but if you mess, that's fine. It means you having fun. And that's what we want in baking or cooking in general. Now, I always like to really make sure that my dry ingredients are properly whisked together. Well incorporated, guys. Remember this, please. If anything you remember from anything that I say, this is one of the most important things. Really mix together your dry ingredients very well before adding the wet ingredients to them. Now, the next bunch of dry ingredients, baking soda, bicarbonate of soda, same thing, pink salt, little touch of vanilla powder. You can also use vanilla extract, just make sure it's a nice pure extract. And then the king, king mushroom chaga. Make sure that your mushroom the mushroom powders that you guys are using are the whole fruiting body. Read that on the package, whole fruiting body. That's how you know it's a really great, a great super shroom. So like I said, we wanna really mix our dry ingredients together well. Now, if this was like a regular flour, you would want to sift it. But because it's a grain-free recipe, no need to do that. 
Okay, all the little lumps, particularly from the almond flour, are now out. Shift that guy aside. So it's already, it's already starting to thicken up nicely. So to this, I'm just gonna add in half a cup of almond milk. So I just made some almond milk fresh this morning, so it's nice and creamy. You could also substitute it for some coconut milk if you want. Okay, now we're gonna do the fun part of putting the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. Now, one of my favorite tools in the kitchen, a really nice spatula to get all of that goodness out. And now, I'm gonna whisk everything together. We'll just fold it in, mix it. As long as it's well incorporated, that's what we want. So I preheated my waffle iron and the light just popped on. I also added a touch of coconut oil. I just used a little pastry brush. You can use anything, just get a little bit of coconut oil on there. And now we're gonna plop our dough. Obviously because this is grain free, it's not gonna be your traditional batter. It's gonna be more of a dough. So I'm gonna go straight on and you wanna hear that. It needs to be like that. Right, so you can see, I'm just sort of molding him into like a waffle ball, like a waffle disc, so that when I close the lid, it sort of spreads out evenly. I'm not concerned about having a perfect shape waffle. I'm kind of going for a waffle that's got like jagged, straggly edges because I like that vibe, but you do you. Oh yeah. You wanna hear the sizzle. So you're just gonna close your waffle maker. I'm just like squishing down just to make sure that it like really like spreads into those little grooves. And essentially you're gonna cook it for five minutes is probably like the sweet spot, but you can go up to seven minutes if you want it like extra browned or extra crispy. You need to decide for yourself, but I'd say five minutes is the sweet spot. So let's see. Five minutes has been long, but we are ready to open. Mm. Oh, cute. He's cute. Okay, now we're going to take him out. Let's see, he should come off. Yep, super easy. Oh yeah, that's very hot, but oh, look at it. Love him. He is great. Okay, so that is, that's done. Now, I want everything in life to be beautiful, especially food, because essentially we eat with our eyes first. I say this all the time, we eat with our eyes first, first and foremost. So for me, when I create meals, I really do make meals for myself as a form of play, as a form of art, as a form of self-love, because when you're making something nice for yourself, essentially it's, you're loving yourself, right? So I've got all my little things, Obviously, you guys don't have to do this. You can do whatever you want. You can take it straight from the waffle iron, cut it up and eat it just like that. I, today, that is, I'm gonna make it pretty. So I'm gonna cut my waffle into four, into quarters so that I've got nice little triangles. And you can see he's got really nice little jagged edges, which is exactly what I wanted, which is great. He's nice and like crispy sounding. So I'm gonna cut them now. Like I said, I sold everything in my kitchen, so I don't even have my chef's knife. You guys will wanna use a nice, long, big, broad, heavy knife to really, you know, just like push down and squish and just cut easily. I myself have only got a tiny little serrated, pathetic knife, but let's make it work. Okay, I mean, it's doing the job. It's doing the job, so that's good. So like I said, in quarters, down the middle of the lines. Cute. Cool. So cool. I love these edges. They're just, it's just rad. Okay, so let's plate these beauties. So I'm just using a nice big plate. It's 
that I've got a lot of negative spacing, lots of space on the plate. I'm just gonna essentially line them up like little waffle soldiers. Yeah, this is pretty much, it's like liquid black gold. Homemade date syrup from here in Dubai from somebody that was so kind and sent it to me. It's from their family date plantation. Like how amazing is that? Oh yeah. Okay, so that is ready to go. Drizzy drizz. I mean, you don't have to do too fancy a thing here. Just, you know, do what you want to do. If you don't want to use date syrup, use pure maple. If you don't want to use pure maple, use whatever you want. I just like this contrast. Another form of gold in the form of tahini. One of my favorite ingredients. Just, I need tahini in my life with most things that I eat, most meals. It's just compulsory for me. If you don't like tahini, use almond butter. If you don't like almond butter, use peanut butter. Whatever you like. Okay, I've got a little bit of a cream drizz, I've got a bit of a sweet drizz, and I'm gonna make it look pretty and add some like crunchies and just pretties. So first of all, so I've got some dried marigold petals here, yellow ones. I have got some ground up gojis, which are just ground up in the blender. So it's like goji berry dust. Some more dried flowers and some of my vegan butter. So actually, I should maybe put a touch of this on now because it'll melt ski down the side of the waffle because the waffles are still so nice and hot. And then it creates those like pools of like vegan buttery goodness. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Pretty. Pretty. Cute. Some of these beauties. Yeah. Mm, look how that makes them pop. Add a touch to the actual plate itself as well. And now, goji berry dust. The goji berry dust gets quite sticky and wet because the goji berries themselves are a little bit sticky and wet on the inside, even if they are dried. So do your best to try and break it up, but if there's a biggish chunk here and there, no probs. Like I said, this is Claire's kitchen. This is what Claire does in her kitchen. Um, if you don't want to do any of this, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. We're done. Super shroom chaga waffles i think they're quite cute i hope you like them i know you're gonna like i love them i know you're gonna love them and i think it's pretty much time to taste them yeah we can either eat with a knife and fork and be fancy and do that kind of thing or we can do what i do and pick one up and just bite them so there's always an adaptogenic alchemized super shroom tonic waiting in the wings <laughs> now please tell me that there's nothing better than dunking a waffle into a cacao alexa i mean just look at this foam look at this creamy foam i mean does it actually get much better than that look at this ah yes ma'am Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna get an extra bit of foam, an extra bit of cacao tonic goodness. Mm. Mm. Crispy. Mm. So good. Mm. Mm. And with this, mm. and like, obviously, if you don't want to dunk it in your Cacao tonic, don't do that. If you want to get some more drizzy drizzy going, get some more drizzy drizzy going. It's up to you, it's what you want to do, how you want to enjoy the waffle, but essentially I enjoy the waffle like this, as I've shown you. And yeah, I think you will too. I mean, let's be real, let's be real. That is what we're talking about. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Mm. Mm. Why is it tahini? Need more tahini. Mm. 